Okay, now, who, or I should say, what word that starts with an R as well describes the Renaissance? Rebirth. Rebirth. Okay, now, why do you think? And that's the answer to number six. Why do you think that they called this time a rebirth? What was it a rebirth of? What had died? What had died in the middle of the saw the movie King Arthur? He saw what was going on. What was dying? Okay, ancient culture, the Greek and Baby. Roman world. How were human beings acting towards each other? Savage, right? Didn't we see how they were fighting? Savage. The things they would do, they are launching yeah, savage. fireballs. They're cutting arms off. And yeah. they're just taking what they want. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was almost like the dark ages with an age when human beings displayed characteristics that just were not human for the most part. Most of the time we use the word human being because we have feelings and we have empathy and we have understanding. I mean, we have violence too, but we tend, if you're a human, to deal with things in a, a decent manner, a manner with some class. Back in the Middle Ages, did we see that at all? If you wanted something, you took it. If you saw a woman in your man, you wanted her, you did whatever you wanted. Okay? If you saw a man who had a house that you wanted, you went, you made to chop him with the sword and take his house. Okay, we were like pure, raw animals. It was like, right, it was like we were wild beasts. It was like human beings had died and gone on to this different energy that was going on. But then a rebirth of humanity came in where people were becoming more spiritual. We're becoming better inventors. We're getting into science. We're getting into art and creativity, okay? So it was the rebirth. All right, let's go to number seven. Anybody in here can answer number seven? Mm -hmm. 